Hi, last Christmas I made a video called how to build a Christmas card on Commodore 64 in BASIC and that video was all about this quirk that enables us to randomly generate Petsky character on the screen each time in next row and by that result is continuous scrolling of the screen in never ending loop. But the whole video was a little bit of a joke because take a look at this everything is upside down so you would actually need to flip your screen to get that snowing effect so that's not very useful so this year i gave myself a challenge to make it right as it should be and of course in basic again so let me show you how this year christmas card looks like and then we can take a look at the code together <laughs> And this is made in basic. Cool, isn't it? Okay, now you can see a little bit more better how this year Christmas card uh, looks like. And it's pretty amazing. It's all made in basic. Uh, with some cunning use of <laughs> some um, kernel routine um, so no machine code was ever written for this except whatever it already exists inside of Commodore 64 kernel yeah so let me show you the code oh yeah right I need to clear the screen and write the command yeah here we go so um, all this data here what you see is actually for generating these christmas trees this sprite and most of the code is just um, to position these three sprites on the screen and um, the main part that actually produces this snow effect is just first three lines of code so uh, i believe it was one two yeah so here it is this is the code that actually produced that snowing effect so this is a code da -da -da -da. so this part here uh, is all about just to create those three um, christmas trees in form of the sprite so we will not take a look at that because that i show last year and it's not very interesting so yeah don't worry about that so the only thing that we are worried is these three lines and this first command is actually a go sub command to line number 10 down here and we don't need that also so this is the only code that we actually need so let me um, remove this abbreviations a little bit so this is print Okay, now we have our little program. So again, let's go line by line and uh, I'll explain it in detail. So line number zero, we are printing um, pesky character 147 and that just to clear the screen and position our cursor at uh, top of top left corner of the screen and this uh, petsky character 5 is just to uh, set font color white and then we call this this system call now let me explain what this is okay let's write something the print merry christmas and the print from the print numbers and 40 and the program okay so if you run it works fine so let's say that i want to add some more comments into this line number 10 okay let's say a equals one b equals two and let's just print them out on the screen print oh did you see that part of the screen just scrolled down by a single line so that i continue filling this line number 10 yeah okay okay let's let's do that uh, a plus b and then i don't know something else doesn't really matter oh look at this no more scrolling 
yeah so there is a routine that can actually scroll down part of the screen but it's not meant to be used constantly and that you can just scroll line by line and continue that so there is a specific purpose for this routine and it's all related to basic code you see maximum number of characters that can fit in single line of basic code is 80 and we only have room for 40 characters in single line on the screen so that means that we need two lines if we want to fill a complete line of basic code so in case that we are continue entering our commands and we need to go beyond 40 characters in case there is something uh, below that line there is a routine that will do just this so it will inject fresh new line below it so that we continue typing and it will scroll down everything else by single line so yeah but we cannot just use it and continuously scrolling everything down line by line except we can and i find a way how to do this so let me show you that hey let me find that routine page here we go so there is a routine that can insert line before current line and scroll lower, lower part of the screen downwards let's see how that routine actually looks like so here it is so it's called open up a space on the screen and thing so this is that routine uh, but it's not that uh, simple <laughs> there is a lot of thing going on here and if you think that we can just somehow change and and say it's not 80 characters max it's something else or change some some other register um, that can force this routine to constantly crawling down the screen well it's not that easy because um, during execution of this routine there is lots of jumps um, and other subroutines uh, which actually recalculate the vectors for the cursor position and um, line positions and everything else so it's not that simple uh, also part of the routine that actually scrolls the screen is the same routine that actually scrolls the screen upward and downwards so it's kind of meshed up together so i kind of found a way to exploit this and let let's go back to the code so that i can show you the sys command uh, this uh, it's calling this 59749 uh, that is uh, that, that's exactly that routine we need to call it at least once uh, so that every parameter in there can be initialized and set up properly and then what we do is next so placing our cursor at the top left corner so at the beginning of the screen position zero zero and then we are uh, moving downwards two lines so we are two lines down that means that we are currently at the third line on the screen and then we are just using space command so that we generate some number random number of spaces on the screen and then we print asterisk in that line so and this is where it actually ends and then we need to go back at the top left corner of the screen so that means the cursor is going back there and every other vector is recalculated and placed on that position and then we call something else now this sys command here which is actually calling 59777 is part of this routine that i was talking about before but not at the beginning of that routine so we are actually jumping let me go back to this yes and we are jumping here so we are skipping everything we are skipping this part sorry we are skipping everything here and we are calling this routine from this position in that case we are going to initiate the creation of a new line and 
everything else it's going to be moved downwards by single line so and because we are our um, cursor is locating above um, the printed petsky character that we print in the line number um, two um, that means that whatever we printed is going to be shifted downwards and then we are going here again and then again initialize that and the screen is going down 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 so this is what's happening here so let's go back to the code and yeah the only thing that is left to do is just um, go to line number one again and this is endless loop yeah quite simple in the end but quite interesting let's go back to here and let me so if i take this code okay let's list it it's here everything oh yo oh, oh, bloody hell uh, we don't need this <laughs> okay okay let's run it and here we go and from this point all you need to decorate the screen so we are adding those christmas trees and changing a little bit of background and here we go very cool so let's do that where are we? Okay. Yeah, this is the program. And let's run it. And here we go. So this is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoy this little quirk of snowing uh, in Commodore Basic. And Merry Christmas everyone and until next time, goodbye.